I'm going to show you how to turn this toilet paper roll into a little house. You could use a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll. Any of those would work. The other materials I'll be using today are a Sharpie. I'm going to start with a Sharpie so that you can see my drawing very clearly as I demonstrate. However, you might want to start with a pencil. If you don't have a Sharpie, that's fine. Any black marker would work or a colored pencil. I'll need scissors to cut the shape of my roof and cut your door if you'd like to make it a, a bendable door like this. All right. Now there's many different types of houses you could make. I'm going to demonstrate making a house similar to this one here with a peaked roof like that, but you could do a rounded roof, a rounded door if you'd like to. If you have a tall paper towel, you could turn it into a larger building or apartment building with double doors. You could add a chimney or put your door over to the side. So there's lots of different things you could do and you could really make lots of houses if you have lots of paper rolls left over at your house. All right, I'm gonna start with the toilet paper roll and um, a Sharpie. Um, before I begin though, I want to review that this is a three-dimensional shape. Do you know what three-dimensional shape this is? This is a cylinder. It has three dimensions. It has height, it has width, and it also has depth. And that's what helps it to stand up like this when we are done. Okay? All right. Like I mentioned, I'm going to start with a Sharpie. You might want to start with a pencil so you can make changes. Again, any drawing tool would work. I'm going to start with the peak of my roof and make two diagonal lines coming down. There's a little bump there, so I kind of slowed down so I could get over that bump. And then I'm going to make some lines that wrap around, and those are the lines I'm going to cut on when I create the house. So I'm going to start over here and start drawing a line that goes this way. And then I'm going to stop and switch to the other side and make a line that goes that way. I'm doing that so that my lines connect pretty evenly because now you can see there's the two lines and I can just connect them. And now I'm going to start drawing some other details. Okay, so here are some of the details that I added to this house. I put a little window up there, I added three windows across, I put some curtains in the window, a little light there, some flowers and trees and bushes. And now I'm ready to cut this. You could add color at this point too and then cut it later. I'm going to show you how to cut it and then I'm going to add some color. To cut it, I actually turn it upside down. It's easier for my scissors to cut this way instead of trying to turn my hand and cut that way. So I turn it upside down. I'm going to cut on my diagonal lines first on my roof. And some parts are a little thicker than others on the cardboard. Oh, I snipped into my house, but that's okay. All right. Um, this is the trickiest part, and actually that little extra snip is going to help me get my scissors in there so I can cut all the way across. Go slow, take your time. And now I can remove that part. And if you want a door that opens, you just cut the one side by the doorknob. And then you cut the top again. Kind of wiggle your scissors in there, do a couple snips across the top, just those two parts. That's where you would cut, and then you can fold it back, and now you have a door that can open and close, and you can begin to add color. Um, for my houses, I used the uh, Crayola markers, and I added details. The color sometimes shows up a little bit different since you're coloring on top of brown 
cardboard instead of white paper. So just expect that there might be some color differences there. Um, this is one that I made that my daughter colored. She used crayons and some markers, so crayons would work too. Okay, and have some fun. You could make a lot of these, make a whole little town. I would love to see them, so when you're finished, set it up and take a photo of it and upload it to Artsonia. Or if you make many, make a little town like you saw in my example photo and upload that to Artsonia. I can't wait to see these cute little houses.